Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, I'm going to talk about callback functions in JavaScript. So what exactly are callback functions and why you need to understand them within this particular Postman API testing tutorial. Now callback functions are the functions that can be called or that are called from another function. Okay, so say for example, you have a function ABC that gets called from some other function XYZ. Okay, so that ABC is the callback function that gets called from other function. Now, why do we need it in Postman? In Postman, the test implementation, the test cases that we are going to write are actually the callback or they have the callback function that you will be using and we'll be correlating all of it. So first, let's first understand what exactly callback functions are with implementation. And then I'll show you the Postman implementation of the API test. Okay, so let's take an example say for example i have different functions okay so i have different functions for example uh, to add to subtract right and to divide multiply now each of those functions basically i want to say for example i want to if if i am testing addition then i want to call add add function if i am testing multiplication that i want to call multiplication function then in that particular case, I can write another function with the name test or testing, whatever name I want to specify and then have a callback function within that testing function or test function that has the flexibility to call the function addition or multiplication or division or whatever mathematical function I want to test. Okay, so this is the real implementation. So now quickly, let's go ahead and define two functions there. Okay. So I'll take the uh, arrow functions, okay, concept here. So which we have already understood. So I'll say there is a function multiply, okay, which we'll be using to multiply two numbers. Say for example, we'll pass two parameters there, okay, and you can read it like that. Let uh, let multiply. Let's or you can say something like let's multiply a and b, and then what to do, right? So let's multiply a and b, and then I just want to print it right so uh, i want to print it on the console okay so i'll say okay print a plus b or console.log a plus b. okay so this is basically you know the arrow function all right now let's define another function which is let add two numbers okay and i'll say two parameters there a and b and what to do let's print the addition of those two numbers on the console okay so i'll say a plus b okay so here it was a a multiplied so a star b and this is a plus okay so these are two functions now based on say for example there are many other functions as well now say for example i have to test addition multiplication and these functions okay so i write another function let me define another function say for example function test okay i just say test all right and the name of the function and then i want to test depending on what exactly i'm going to test i want to write the name of the test right so i'll say here i'll just put the parameter test name which will accept what i what i'm testing okay and then here i can specify the callback function so the callback function as an parameter here for the test right as an argument here okay so i can say callback function okay you can write anything callback callback function right now we know that these two functions accept two arguments so let's put two arguments there just just for explaining okay there are better ways to do it but just i want to explain that when you're calling this test you need to specify the test name the callback function whichever function you are calling addition multiplication or division if say for example i have two more functions here that i want to test i'll pass those functions here as a callback function and the arguments that need to pass in these functions okay so now i want to simply say console dot log okay and i want to log whatever test name i am going to provide okay so simply log the test name on the console and then i want to call back then i want to call this callback function okay and the callback function we know that it accepts two arguments so whatever we are defining here let me keep it different so i'll say num1 and num2 okay then i'll simply pass those two parameters here. okay so now if i'm calling this particular test function okay so now test function is having an argument which calls another function right 
So here it has the capability to call another function. So whichever function I'm going to call here in the test will be a callback function. For example, if I'm calling multiply, then multiply is the callback function and add add is a callback function, right? For test. So now let's call the test. Okay. So I'll call test and then in the test, you'll see that I, I need to provide any test name and then the callback function and the numbers that I want to add or multiply, right? So I'll say, the message this is addition test okay separated by the callback function i'm adding okay i'm testing the addition so i'll simply call add function right and then i want to pass the numbers that i'm going to add say for example i want to add 12 and 30 okay so this is one of the tests okay now let's save it and run this and see the output so let me clear it send it again so you'll see this is addition test and the sum has been printed on the console. Okay. Now say for example, I want to test something else. So I can just use the same function that I have been defined for testing the other functions, right? So I can say, yeah, this time I want to say this is multiplication test. Okay. And then call the function that actually does that test, right? Which, which function does that test? Multiply. Okay. And then the numbers that you want to multiply so i'll say 12 and 5 okay and then run this so you'll see that first it has printed this is addition test then this is multiplication test with the number so now here you can see that this test function the function test that we have written is actually having the callback callback function and in the callback function we can pass any of the test functions or test functions basically add multiply or tomorrow I have to divide. So all of those can be basically called as part of this test function, right? So this is the concept of callback function. Now, why this understanding is important? This is very close to what it is implemented in Postman. And that is why we need to understand callback function within Postman and also the concept. So this is the concept of callback function, okay? Now let's take any of the test case, okay? So say for example, in the snippets in the right hand side, you'll see this little arrow. If I expand this, we have used these snippets before, right? So say for example, I want to do this test. Okay, JSON response body contains string or JSON value check. Okay, so let me add a couple of those. Okay, so this has been added. Okay, so this snippet has added a particular test. Then I have added JSON value check. And then another one is say for example, easy. Okay, so let's analyze these functions, right? So similar to what we have done, right? The test function, okay, it has it accepts what? So if I hover over, these are the test cases from Postman, right? So if I hover over, you will see the property. We have to first specify the test name, which is string, right? And then spec function, which is a function, okay? So you can use this function to write test specification inside either the prereq or test anywhere in, in, in prerequest script or test. You can use this and it accepts two arguments there, the test name and the spec function. The next one is the function, the real function, the actual test that you will perform so here you will see the test name same thing that we did right so this is the addition test then the function and the implementation within that function so they have what they have done here is basically a function as a second argument and that function what exactly it is doing right so that is defined within these curly brackets right so in the curly brackets up to here and this is the first argument right comma separated then this is the second argument of this test callback which which has the callback function okay which calls back so basically here we can define another function which tests certain thing similarly here the test is to expect or check the particular json data value is equal to something or not right similarly this so all the test implementation within postman you will see will have the concept of the callback function and that is why we need to understand what exactly is callback function Okay. And what is the relevance of it? Right. So the relevance is basically they have implemented a test function that you can reuse again and again to test any sort of capabilities within the response, within uh, the, the string match, right. Within your JSON value. Okay. So that is why the callback function concept within JavaScript is important and for Postman API testing as well. That's why it, 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 it becomes really, really important to understand because we'll be using these tests a lot. Okay. So that's all for this video. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.